and heavy is configured for flight. T minus 15, standby for terminal count. 10, 9, 8, Side booster ignition. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 2, ignition. Supersonic. 15 seconds. Vehicle's flight pressure. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition. Let's go. Center core at deep throttle. T plus 33 seconds into flight. Under the power of 5.1 million pounds of thrust, Falcon Heavy is headed to space. We're throttling down at T plus 40 seconds Side to prepare for bucket. maximum dynamic pressure. Power telemetry on nominal. We're hearing reports. Power and telemetry are nominal. Vehicle is supersonic. You may have heard the call out on Side net one. Vehicle is supersonic. Side boosters are throttling back up on power as we're Max through Q. the period of maximum dynamic pressure. T minus 15 seconds. And nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition. Pitching down range. T plus 25 seconds into flight under the thrust of over 5 million pounds. Falcon Heavy is headed to space. We're getting ready to throttle down for passing through the period of maximum dynamic pressure. Max We've Q. heard call out of throttle bucket Nine, for side core. We're through max Q. Vehicle is supersonic. Everything continuing to look good on the Merlin 1D engines. We're throttling back up on the side boosters to full power. A minute 15 seconds into flight. Performance looks nominal. T minus 15 seconds of counting. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, liftoff. Chamber pressure 
stress on the rocket. Falcon Heavy is supersonic. There we just heard the call out that the vehicle is now traveling faster than the speed of sound. What a beautiful sight. Max Q. All right, there we just heard the call out. That is the moment of peak mechanical stress on the rocket. 15 seconds. T minus 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Engine full power and lift off of USSF 67. Go Falcon Heavy, go Space Force. Booster chamber pressures are nominal. Plus 40 seconds into flight under the power of 5 million pounds of thrust. Power and telemetry nominal. Falcon Heavy is headed to space. Now we did throttle down the engines around the T plus 40 second Vehicle mark. supersonic. In preparation for max Q. Max Q. And great call out there that we have passed through max Q. That's the largest mechanical stress on the vehicle on ascent. And incredible, incredible views there on your screen. Falcon Heavy in flight. 15 seconds. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Engines full power. And lift off of Viasat 3. Go Viasat, go Falcon Heavy. Vehicle is pitching downrange. M1D chamber pressure is novel. We are 30 seconds into flight under the power of 5 million pounds of thrust. Falcon Heavy is headed to space. Now we are throttling down our engines on those side boosters and that's in preparation for max Q. Power and telemetry nominal. Max Q is the moment of peak mechanical stress. Falcon Heavy is supersonic. Peak mechanical stress on the vehicle. So we do slow down the vehicle to get through this period of high stress. And once we pass through Max-Q, we will throttle those engines back up on those side boosters. Max-Q. And great call out, we have passed through Max-Q. So we're going to throttle up those engines again on these side boosters. 15 seconds. 2 minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one, ignition, engine full power, and lift off the Falcon Heavy. Go Falcon 9, go Falcon Heavy, go Echo Star. Stage one, chamber pressure is nominal.
We are just over 30 seconds into flight under the power of over 5 million pounds of thrust and Falcon Heavy is on its way to space. Right now, we're throttling down in preparation for max Q, which is, of course, the moment of key. Power and telemetry nominal. Call outs there that power and telemetry are both looking good for Falcon Heavy. Again, what we're preparing for next is max Q, which is the peak mechanical stress on the rocket. So that is a critical Falcon at supersonic. critical flight milestone for us today. And with that supersonic call out, we know that Falcon Heavy is moving faster than the speed of sound. There we've passed through max Q. So now the engines are throttling up. Everything's looking good with the stage one trajectory, which is great news. Our side boosters are throttled all the way up right now, but the center core is operating a reduced power. We'll gradually begin reducing thrust from the side boosters to decrease forces on the vehicle structure as we approach our next major flight event, BICO. BICO, which stands for booster engine cutoff, is expected at about two and a half minutes into flight. That's where we'll shut down the engines on the side boosters. And then following BICO, the side boosters will separate away from the center core and begin their trip back to Earth. The center core engines will then ramp up to full power and burn for approximately another minute, while the side boosters execute their boost back burns simultaneously. Incredible views of Falcon Heavy right now. And as a reminder, although we are not attempting to recover our center core due to performance today, we will be attempting to land those two side boosters on landing zones one and two, so we'll have great views for you on the right-hand side of your screen. Side booster separation confirmed. Side core separation. There, we've had confirmation of side core separation there. And shortly, those side boosters are going to begin the first of three burns prior booster to landing back, start up. back on land. There's the call out that we've had boost back begin. We're going to have several things happen in quick succession here. So some of the things we're looking for are Miko on our main engine. And then those two entry and landing burns of the side boosters. On your screen right now, we have views, views of both of those side boosters on their way back to Earth. There we go over on the side right there. Following main engine cutoff of the center core, we are looking for stage separation of the center core and the second stage, and then SES-1, or second engine start one, for the MVAC engine on board stage two. Shortly after that, we will also have fairing separation. So let's keep an eye on all, fair, all of those events happening back to back here in just a couple seconds. Booster boost back shut down. There's confirmation that the boost back burn on both side Bingo. boosters has Stage completed. separation confirmed. Acquisition signal for Muta. Stage one FTS has saved center core. In recognition. So you saw on your screen there, we had successful boost back burn on the side boosters, main engine cutoff on our center core, stage separation, and that beautiful view means that we have had second engine start one.